So Everett wants us to build him a bunk bed today and finish up his room a little bit. And I want to go get to the greenhouse and get some cabbage starts. Yay! So we're going to go right now. It's going to be awesome. I don't know what it is about this area, but we have a lot of factories. And today we're stopping off at the Fishy Crackery! Uh -huh. The Fishy Crackery. <laughs> Where you can we get uh, goldfish crackers and Milano cookies for really, really good prices. So we're gonna go get some. <laughs> a huge bag of Fishy Cracker. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know about you guys, but I cannot eat Milano cookies without dipping them in milk. So guess what? We came prepared! <laughs> yes, we totally just brought our own milk with us so that we could, just for that purpose, to dip Milano cookies. Oh really? You did? <laughs> yep. We go a little crazy at greenhouses. We're gonna try to save money though, instead of just letting our our eyes <laughs> do the buying for us. Um, because if we could, we would buy everything. Yes, we would. So today we're going for two different types of vegetables. Number one, the kind of thing that usually t costs a lot of money in the store to buy, and something that we that we eat normally, um, or would eat normally <laughs> if it were cheaper. Were cheaper. Um, you know, things that have a lot of vitamins um, and that are good for us, but typically we, we can't buy as much of it as we want. So we want to buy those things that we can't usually afford, and it's a lot cheaper to grow them. Second, we want to grow things that we love to buy, but are typically so covered in chemicals and, um, you know, unnatural fertilizers and whatnot, that uh, even if they are affordable, we don't really want those in our body. So, strawberries, other berries, peppers. Okay. So we've been making smoothies every day, but bananas aren't really in season in our area. So maybe Ever. strawberries would be a, <laughs> a good replacement. Yeah. Yeah, bananas don't grow too well in Idaho. Oh, yay. Yeah, let's get broccoli. Yeah. Like a whole pot of broccoli? Yeah, it did really well last year. Okay. That many? Uh, yes. <laughs> I love broccoli. Banjo, you want to get Brussels sprouts? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think they're in here. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Let's see, Emmy. <laughs> 
Yay. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Oh, that's a lot of Brussels sprouts. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yay, okay, let's put them in the cart. Good job. Yay. Hey, Here you go. You help me pull it? Such good farmer girls. I want a greenhouse like this. <laughs> hmm, gives me some ideas. What if we turn the hay shed into a barn, uh, a greenhouse? Yeah. That would be awesome. And that'd be a good use of that space. After we level the ground because it flooded. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt the plants as long as they're up on huh. little tables. We live in aquaponics heaven. <laughs> <laughs> started drawing so I wanted to show you. This is our pizza box. <laughs> Trent's in the house and I'm drawing the landscaping. All right, we're home and we've got the lots and lots of strawberries and brassicas for the garden. Um, of course, our actual garden spots are completely flooded right now. But first, more importantly, we're gonna make Everett's bunk bed, right? Okay, we'll show you his plan. This is what my bunk bed is gonna be. My desk is gonna be under and I did it blue because my blanket's blue and those are two by fours and two by more five. two by fours. Cool. So we don't have the wood. We, don't, we didn't have the wood but we bought it today, huh? Yeah, let's go get it. Okay, let's go get it. Alright, this is the corner where Everett's bed was. We just moved his mattress and we're gonna build a loft bed. So Good job, Everett. Good job. Now you can start doing the zoop, zoop, zoop. Are you helping daddy building a bed? Yay. Is that his night night?
Well, it's late at night, but we're all still awake because we just barely finished Everett's bed. But here it is. Hi, Banjo. Woohoo! We're getting ready for bed, and we're, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. I can just uh, I can just go like this. Run show, everybody. Well, it's late, but uh, my awesome neighbor just came by and uh, says that Buttercup is out. And it's like 10 at, 10 at night, says the kids, his kids opened the door, and uh, there was Buttercup <laughs> standing there to greet them. So I'm going to go see if I can track her down in the, in the dark. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Well, we got Buttercup back last night. It was late, but we got her. And this morning she got out again. <laughs> we at least found the problem.